Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can use a monitor as a secondary display for your iPad Pro. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you have your media hub set up. I have an Anchor 8-in-1 media hub right here taped down to my table. I have it plugged in with my HDMI cable. I have a USB power cable plugged in. Also I have a wireless mouse receiver and I have the wireless mouse right here in front of us. So all this is all connected and this cable here will plug into my iPad. If you want to check out the Media Hub, make sure to check out the description link down below so that way you can get it yourself. This is an amazing Media Hub for digital content creators and if you don't have one already with your iPad, you should get one today. Now when you have the HDMI cable plugged in to the Media Hub, you want to run this through all the way to your monitor. As you can see right here, I have the HDMI cable plugged in right to the HDMI slot and this is plugged in also to my Anchor 8-in-1 Media Hub. Now you also want to plug in the power cable to the monitor, that way you plug it in and it works. Now when you have everything plugged in to the 8-in-1 Media Hub, you can now plug the USB-C cable to your iPad, make sure the monitor is turned on and watch what happens when everything comes to life. It will show a symbol up top here that it has an external display, something's connected to it and if everything goes right you have a secondary display on your monitor. You can use the iPad as the main screen and then the extra screen will be from the monitor. If you would like to change the settings on how you want your monitor placed, make sure to follow these specific steps. In order to change the settings for your external display, you want to go right into your settings. When you go into your settings, go to where it shows display and brightness right here in the settings. Display and brightness, it will show you the arrangements for the displays and you can arrange your iPad in different orders if you want. That way the screen for the monitor will be in the middle, your iPad will be in the bottom or if you want to put an iPad on the side and move the iPad to the left side, you can move your mouse over to the left side as well. I have it where it's displayed on the bottom and I can move my mouse and you can see my mouse on the camera here on what apps are actually displaying. If you want to mirror the iPad to the screen, you can hit mirror display. And if you hit mirror display, it's gonna show everything that you have on your iPad screen up to the monitor itself. I don't like that option, so I'm gonna turn that off. And it's going to now go back to the original setting that I had it before where it does an extended display from my iPad to my monitor. And you guys, that's it. That's all you have to do in order to extend your iPad screen to a secondary display like a monitor. And if you don't have a monitor yourself yet, make sure to grab one. I'll put the link down below of what I have. This is a brand new Acer 100 megahertz screen display and I love it. It shows beautiful colors. It helps me so much with editing videos, putting things together, having multiple windows on the secondary display. So if you don't have any of this stuff, I'll put everything down below so that way you can purchase it yourself. It helps support the video, but that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe down to the channel down below. If you have any other questions at all, feel free to let me know down in the comment box below. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.